Hi everybody, this is Charlie Johnson again. I'm making this video to show you how to tell if you're out of hard drive space or if you need more random access memory, more RAM or more memory. Um, so let's do this. Let's open up um, the hard drive and see how much space we have left. To do that, hover over computer in Windows 7 and click it. Then right click it and click open. And some people might have more than one drive. What we're looking at here is is that uh, we actually have only one hard drive in here, but it's split into two partitions, C and D, because this is only 5 gig and there's HP tools loaded on the D drive to, for diagnostics and such. Then down here we have an E drive, which is a DVD, a writable DVD. And up here is the C drive, and that's normally your, the drive that's the largest. Um, so let's right click on the C drive and then click properties. And if you notice here, I, this is a basically a 300 gig drive. I've used about 50 gig and there's 242 gig left and so I've got plenty of hard drive space to add more programs to so I have no problem here if your hard drive fills up it'll slow the computer down so this is a good way to, to tell whether you need to um, upgrade your hard drive or not okay let's click OK and close this down <coughs> Then the next thing we're going to do is check to see how much random access memory we have available to use. So if you go down to the taskbar down at the bottom and right click your mouse and start task manager, you have a device, a window that opens up similar to this and it's got different tabs across the top. If you click on the performance tab it tells you how hard your processor is working and how much random access memory you're using. So uh, let's do this. Click Options and then make sure Always on Top is checked because we want this to be open and we're going to do a little test here. Right now we're looking at physical memory or RAM and I have 4 gig actually it's 4.03 gig but 4 gig of memory in the machine and some of that memory is being 1.6 gig is being cached or it's being reserved and so the free amount of memory that we have this is the main number we're worried about here is 1.172 right now but I have nothing running and I've got 1.169 gig available. So now what happens if I open up a couple, I usually open up three or four or five Internet Explorer windows, and every time I open one up, and I open up a new tab, and I open up another new tab, and I open up another new tab, you notice that it went up and we've lost some memory. Okay, so right now I basically have a gig free, but now if I minimize this and I open up Adobe Premiere Elements, which I use to edit videos, just take a second for that to load up. You'll notice that we're climbing already. <laughs> and I'm down to only 700 megabytes free of memory. And it hasn't even opened yet, up yet. So I click OK. Now I'm down to 600. And what happens is, is I'll get to a point where I have no memory left. 
so it starts using the hard drive as if it were memory and it slows the computer down. So now if I open up something else, I mean I would get down to near nothing. So I need to add more memory in here or I need to learn how to operate the computer without opening up all the programs in Internet Explorer browsers. So that's kind of a way to tell whether you have enough random access memory. The more things that I open up on my machine here, I notice that it slows the machine down. And that's because I need more random access memory. If you have any questions, please visit my website, www.charliejohnson.net. And that's it for today. Thank you.